Superman the Animated Series. It's one of the greatest TV shows ever that aired in 1996 as part of the DC Comics universe. It's about our good old Superman fighting crime in Metropolis while living a double life as a reporter Clark Kent. The series has a total of four seasons, keeping viewers hooked with its mix of action, drama, and touching moments. Today, we're gonna cover it all, so let's get right into it. On the desolate northern region of Krypton, Jor-El faces off against the colossal amoeba-like creature, probably looking for some intelligent life to converse with. After narrowly escaping, he returns to his mobile lab, where Brainiac, the intelligent AI, demands data. Jor-El's research predicts Krypton's doom, but his father-in-law warns him that if Brainiac doesn't back him up, he's doomed to be the laughingstock of the scientific community. Not a great look for a guy with a superhero's name. When an earthquake interrupts the council meeting, it's Krypton's way of saying, hey folks, you're not listening to Jor-El, and I'm about to drop the mic here. Literally. The council turns to Brainiac, who dismisses Jor-El's warnings faster than you can say scientific sabotage. Jor-El's brilliant plan to save everyone involves banishing them to a dimension full of criminals and monsters. Sounds like a fun vacation spot, right? Jor-El confronts Brainiac, who is busier downloading himself into a satellite than a teenager downloading the latest memes. Brainiac's like, hey, gotta save the knowledge, sorry about your impending doom. With the planet shaking like a malfunctioning blender, Jor-El's backup plan involves sending his baby son off in a one-person spaceship. Well, I guess they didn't have minivans on Krypton. Solvan volunteers to distract the authorities, proving that even in the face of annihilation, there is always time for a good old diversionary tactic. As Cal els ship blasts off, Jor-El and Lara share a romantic moment amidst the chaos, proving that even when your planet's about to explode, there is still time for some good old lovin', or a dramatic kiss at the least. And so, with Krypton exploding like fireworks on New Year's Eve, Cal els ship disappears into a wormhole, taking with it some unwanted souvenirs. Because what's a space journey without a few chunks of kryptonite, am I right? The Cal el now known as Clark Kent, grows up in Smallville with his adoptive parents, Martha and Jonathan Kent. Discovering his superhuman abilities, Clark rescues a family from a burning RV, leaving him both amazed and troubled by his powers. His parents reveal his extraterrestrial origins and his potential for greatness, but Clark's initial reaction is one of confusion and fear. As Clark matures, he secretly uses his powers to help people in Metropolis while working as a reporter for the Daily Planet. Assigned to mentor him, Louis Lane, initially skeptical of the Smallville newcomer, is impressed by his resourcefulness and determination during their first assignment covering Lex Luthor's latest invention. During the unveiling, mercenaries attack, stealing Luther's powerful Lexoscale suit. Clark springs into action, donning his superhero alter ego to stop the chaos. Despite their arsenal, the mercenaries have proved powerless against them. However, when a missile meant for Clark hits a passenger jet, he faces his first major challenge as he races to prevent a catastrophe. In a whirlwind of action and suspense, Clark battles to save the falling jet, showcasing his bravery and prowess. Will he succeed, or will this be the first of many tests in his journey as Earth's newest protector? Well, tune in for the thrilling adventures of Clark Kent, the unexpected hero from Smallville. After a hair-raising rescue attempt of a plummeting plane, the mysterious hero, now dubbed Superman, becomes the talk of Metropolis. Perry White, ever the demanding editor, insists on unmasking the caped savior, prompting Lewis Lane to nickname him Superman, after the conspicuous S on his chest. Feeling the pressure of his newfound fame, Clark Kent, aka Superman, decides it's time for a heart-to-heart -heart with Lewis. Their private interview reveals Clark's Kryptonian roots and his altruistic intentions, though Lewis's skepticism remains intact. Damn, talk about a tough crowd. Meanwhile, at the villainous Lex Luthor's den of mischief, Superman's presence threatens to unravel his diabolical plans. Clark's suspicion that Luther orchestrated the theft of the Lexoscale suit sends shockwaves through their interview, leaving Lewis intrigued and Luther squirming. With Lewis hot on the trail of corruption, Clark's investigative instincts kick into high gear. His theory about Luther's shady dealings with the regent of Cosnia sets the stage for a high seas adventure, complete with secret missions and sinister plots and all. 
As Lewis finds herself in hot water aboard a Kaznian tanker, Superman swoops in for heroic rescue. The ensuing showdown with the Lexoscale suit-wielding villain, John Corbin, turns Metropolis into a battleground, with Superman emerging victorious in a suit-ripping spectacle. With the Daily Planet's presses rolling out headlines of Superman's triumph, our hero pays a chilling visit to Luther's lair. Their tense confrontation leaves Luther rattled, and Superman soaring triumphantly through the city's skyline, cheered on by a grateful populace. Meanwhile, in a cosmic twist, Brainiac's satellite stirs to life aboard an unsuspecting alien vessel, setting the stage for even greater interstellar intrigue. As the police chase an armored truck, Superman swoops in like a flying fish to investigate, only to be greeted by a bouncing rubber ball with a mind of its own. The ball's relentless bouncing leaves the criminals shaking in their boots, and the truck's walls quivering like a scared puppy. Later, Lewis Lane and Jimmy Olsen interview the captured crooks, whose tales sound more like bedtime stories than police reports. Determined to crack the case, Lewis confronts Bruno Mannheim, who denies involvement, but when toy planes armed to the teeth crash his speech, it's up to Clark Kent to play hero and toss Mannheim like a sack of potatoes. Meanwhile, Toy Man, the mastermind behind the chaos, reads Lewis's article, agitated and ready for action. He attacks Mannheim's ship with a giant rubber ducky, proving he's not just playing games. Really? Giant rubber ducky? But when Toy Man kidnaps Lewis with a sleeping doll, Superman leaps into action. With his heat vision and spinning moves, he's like a one-man circus act. In the end, Superman saves the day, leaving Toy Man's toys in shambles and Mannheim scratching his head like a confused cat. As the dust settles, Toy Man's fate remains a mystery leaving everyone wondering if he's gone for good or just playing hide-and-seek. In a twist of fate, as the police search for Toy Man's body, all they find is his broken mask. Talk about a disappearing act. As Lex Luthor unveils his Museum of National History, Superman's day takes a rocky turn when small-time crooks crash the party, sending him right into action. But when he nears a display of minerals, he's hit with a pain, giving the crooks a clean getaway. Luther, smelling opportunity like a bloodhound on the scent, realizes he's struck gold, or rather alien rock, and hatches a dastardly plan to use the kryptonite against Superman. Meanwhile, Clark meets Lewis for a bite to eat, but the kryptonite's effects have him feeling more like a wilted plant than a man of steel. Lewis, oblivious to the glowing green rock's deadly power, thinks he's coming down with the flu. Can that be a mistaken identity nidus? As Superman confronts Luther's hired goon and his jetpack-wearing cronies, he finds himself weakened by the kryptonite, leaving him vulnerable to a beating from the thug. But just when it seems like lights out for Superman, he summons just enough strength to turn the tables, tossing the baddie into a watery abyss. Refusing to back down, Superman faces off against Luther in a battle of wills, but when Lewis receives a cryptic call from a coerced contact, Peterson, it's clear they've walked straight into Luther's trap. Locked in a showdown with a mechanical T-Rex armed with kryptonite, Superman's in a tight spot until Lewis discovers a way to shield him using lead cups. With a little help from his friend, Superman smashes through the exit and sends the kryptonite packing, like tossing out last week's leftovers. As Luther plans his next move, Superman vows to protect Earth from the deadly threat of kryptonite, proving that even the Man of Steel has his weaknesses. But never fear, because where there's a will, there's a way. Superman breathes a sigh of relief as he tests his new anti-kryptonite suit, proving that even the Man of Steel isn't immune to a little fashion faux pas. As Professor Hamilton tucks away the kryptonite like an old pair of socks, Superman jokes that trouble seems to find him faster than a cat finds a sunbeam. Meanwhile, in Loading Bay 2, Rudy Jones is about as smooth as a porcupine on ice as he fumbles with a forklift, loading barrels like a toddler stacking blocks. As Superman hears the chaos and rushes to the scene, Rudy's day goes from bad to worse. His partner's driving skills are as sharp as a spoon, sending them on a roller coaster ride straight out of a theme park nightmare. Later that night, Rudy discovers he's got a new power, energy draining. But when Parasite takes his power trip too far, Superman steps in to save the day. Or so he thinks. Parasite drains Superman's powers, leaving the Man of Steel feeling more like the Man of Silly Putty. As Parasite wreaks havoc with Superman's powers, it's a battle of titans. 
well, one titan and one slightly less titan-like guy. However, Parasite's powers start to fade. With Jimmy Olsen's help, Superman stages a comeback worthy of a summer blockbuster, outsmarting Parasite with a piece of kryptonite like a game of cosmic chess. As Parasite is carted off, Superman breathes a sigh of relief, until a cockroach decides to crash the party. Looks like trouble's brewing again in the world of Superman. But hey, at least it's not another fashion emergency. John Corbin, also known as Metallo, may have a fancy metal body now, but his sense of fashion is still stuck in the Stone Age. With his newfound powers, Corbin's feeling more indestructible than a Nokia from the 90s. Ta, <laughs> think again. But he's not too thrilled about the side effects. When Metallo tries to derail a train to get Superman's attention, it's like watching a brat throw a tantrum. As for his attempt to raise Lewis with a forced kiss, let's just say it's not exactly the stuff of romance novels. Meanwhile, Lewis and Clark play detective, uncovering Luther's sinister plot. As Superman saves the day once again, Metallo resurfaces like a bad penny, ready to wreak havoc once more. With Metallo still lurking in the depths, it seems the battle for Metropolis is far from over. Go on, cue the dramatic music. In the middle of nowhere, Luther's big meeting with Brainiac turns into a sci-fi showdown. As Superman zooms into the scene, he's faced with a tough decision. Team up with Brainiac and explore the universe, or trust his gut and take down the robotic menace. When Superman walks into Brainiac's ship, it's like stepping into a sci-fi thriller. Glowing orbs, Kryptonian hieroglyphics, and a whole lot of trust issues make for one wild ride. Back on Earth, Luther's plans go haywire faster than a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. His grand scheme to outsmart Brainiac crumbles, leaving him frustrated. In the end, Superman saves the day, but not without a few bumps and bruises along the way. Brainiac's ship goes down in flames, and Luther's left picking up the pieces of his shattered ego. Superman tucks away the memory orb in an icy hideout. As the dust settles and the stars twinkle above, one thing's for sure. In the world of superheroes and supervillains, there is never a dull moment. And with Superman at the helm, Metropolis is safe for another day. At least until the next cosmic threat comes knocking. In a cosmic clash of titans, Superman tests a sleek new rocket against the vastness of space, while elsewhere, the rowdy bounty hunter Lobo causes chaos in an alien bar. As Lobo hunts down his quarry, the mischievous Squeak, he runs into trouble with Squeak's older brother, Gnaw, and his gang. Back on Earth, Lobo's rampage brings him face to face with Superman, and the battle of the century begins. It's a clash of titans with punches that could shatter planets and blows that could split galaxies in two. But just when it seems like Lobo has the upper hand, Superman's secret weapon swoops in. None other than Lois Lane herself. With Lewis's help, Superman gains the advantage and sends Lobo packing. But the battle is far from over as Superman follows Lobo into the depths of space, ready to put an end to his cosmic chaos once and for all. In a showdown among the stars, Superman and Lobo go head to head in a battle that will determine the fate of the universe. Just when victory seems within reach, both heroes find themselves ensnared by the Preserver, trapped in cages that mimic their homeworlds. As Superman and Lobo plot their escape, the fate of the universe hangs in the balance. Will they break free and save the day? Or will they be trapped forever in the Preserver's cosmic menagerie? Only time will tell in this epic tale of space shenanigans. After their misadventure, Gnaw's betrayal prompts Emperor Spooge to demand Lobo's swift return, igniting a new round of escapades. Trapped in the Preserver's cosmic zoo, Superman and Lobo navigate perilous encounters. Lobo's encounter with robot companions leads to a knockout gas mishap, while Superman's ingenious rhinoceros diversion earns him a path to freedom. As the duo faces off against the security droids, Lobo's defiant attitude sparks a comical showdown. Their escape takes a wild turn when they confront a massive serpent-like creature, with Superman narrowly escaping its jaws thanks to Lobo's unlikely assist. Meanwhile, Gnaw's arrival escalates tensions aboard the ship, Amidst a skirmish, Superman devises a clever plan involving a dodo and a dose of sunlight to reclaim his powers. As the Preserver confronts Lobo, the tables turn dramatically. The Cosmic Collector transforms into a menacing giant, prompting Lobo's reluctant heroics to save Superman from certain doom. 
In a twist of fate, Lobo's uncharacteristic act of selflessness leads to the Preserver's demise, leaving the duo victorious but stranded in space. Back with Emperor Spooge, Lobo recounts their escapade with characteristic flair, while Spooge reflects on the folly of trusting Gnaw and his gang. In a light-hearted conclusion, Lobo's unexpected heroism earns him a reprieve, while Superman's altruism extends to the rescued creatures, now safe in his fortress of solitude. Amidst the chaos of cosmic capers, humor and camaraderie prevail, leaving our unlikely heroes ready for their next adventure. At the Metropolis fashion show, old flames and new dangers ignite as Clark and Lewis cover the event. Clark's past collides with the present when he spots Lana Lang, now dating Lex Luthor, stirring up feelings from their high school days. When Lana is abducted for her designer dress, Superman swoops in to save the day. Lana's revelation of Clark's secret identity adds a twist to the reunion, but she remains undeterred by Luthor's suspicious dealings. Superman warns Lana about Luthor's arms dealer connections, but Lana's confidence in handing Luthor leads her deeper into danger. Despite Superman's reluctance, Lana's feelings resurface, leading to a romantic moment between them, observed by a jealous Luthor. As Lana uncovers Luthor's arms deals, she becomes a target for his wrath. Trapped in a lead factory, Lana faces imminent peril until Superman intervenes, rescuing her from a molten fate. In the aftermath, Lana learns her lesson and bids farewell to Metropolis, leaving Clark with a newfound appreciation for their bond. With Lana's departure, Clark turns his attention back to his duties at the Daily Planet, ready for the next assignment with Lewis by his side. Amidst the whirlwind of fashion, flirtation, and foiled schemes, Superman and Lana's paths converge, leaving behind a lingering sense of what could have been. But as they part ways, they carry with them the knowledge that true heroes rise above adversity, forging their own destinies in a world filled with both peril and promise. Metropolis was in for a wild ride when a gang attempted to rob the gold exchange. As chaos unfolded, Superman swooped in, looking more dapper than ever in his superhero attire. Reporter Angela Chen couldn't help but quip that Superman must have a secret hotline to all the city's hotspots, much to the chagrin of the slightly jealous Dan Turpin. Meanwhile, Bruno Mannheim was fuming over his failed encounter with Superman. Enter Kanto, the mysterious arms dealer offering freebies like Oprah on a shopping spree. Mannheim jumped at the chance for free firepower, completely missing the buyer beware memo. With their shiny new toys, Inner Gang staged the heist fit for the movies, leaving both Superman and the SCU scratching their heads. Turpin, suspicious as ever, decided to play Detective Solo. Because why not quit your job in style? Turpin's solo escapades led him straight into Kanto's waiting arms. Meanwhile, Superman, undeterred by recent events, continued to be the city's shining beacon of hope, even if his cape did get a little singed in the process. When Mannheim and his merry band of weaponized misfits clashed with Superman, it was like a bad sci-fi movie come to life. Laser beams, explosions, and dramatic showdowns ensued, with Mannheim playing the role of the overconfident villain to perfection. In a surprise twist, Turpin, of all people, decided to step up to the plate and help Superman, proving that even grumpy ex-cops can have a heart of gold. The look on Superman's face when Turpin showed up was priceless. Like he'd just won the superhero lottery. As the dust settled, Mannheim found himself facing the music, while Superman and Turpin shared a moment of camaraderie. Who knew the gruff cop had a soft spot for caped crusaders? It was almost enough to make Superman crack a smile. But the real kicker came when Mannheim got a one-way ticket to Darkseid's evil lair. Superman couldn't help but shake his head at the villain's misfortune, because even superheroes need a good laugh now and then. As Metropolis breathed a sigh of relief, Superman stood tall, a beacon of hope in a city that never seemed to catch a break. With his trusty sidekick Turpin by his side, they were ready to take on whatever chaos came their way. After all, when you've got a cape and a sense of humor, anything is possible in the world of superheroes. As tension mounts in Metropolis, the SCU faces a standoff with Earl Garver, the mastermind behind a bomb threat. With steel walls and an arsenal of gadgets guarding him, Garver seems like the neighborhood's least welcoming host. Inside the fortified House of Chaos, Superman discovers more obstacles than a video game level. 
Electrified walls? Check. Giant hydraulic press? Yep. Superman faces off against Garver, who's armed with not just gadgets, but a serious case of villainous ambition. The battle escalates faster than a game of Mario Kart on Rainbow Road, with Superman dodging, weaving, and generally showing off his superhuman prowess. Just when it seems like the end for Garver, the plot takes a twist straight out of a daytime soap opera. Enter the Parasite, demanding premium cable in exchange for a little mind-reading favor. Wow, who knew even supervillains had their entertainment preferences? But when things go awry and Garver hijacks the Parasite's body, it's clear this duo is more dysfunctional than Batman and Robin after a night of bickering. Garver's demands get even crazier, with him aiming not just for money, but Superman's powers too. In a race against time, Superman races to stop the bomb while dealing with Garver's power-hungry antics. In the end, of course, Superman saves the day, defuses the bomb, and sends Garver and the Parasite packing. But the real winner? Cable TV. As Garver gets carted off to prison, the Parasite kicks back with a bucket of popcorn, enjoying his new big screen TV. Who said crime doesn't pay? Inside Star Labs, Professor Hamilton fumbles with Superman's ship, inadvertently unleashing a creature from the Phantom Zone. Superman swoops in to save the day, but not before the creature causes a bit of chaos, with Hamilton frantically trying to fix his mistake while Superman handles the cleanup duty. Enter Mala, the exiled Kryptonian with a bone to pick and the thirst for freedom. Superman grapples with the decision to release Mala from the Phantom Zone. As Superman attempts to mentor Mala, things take a turn for the awkward when she starts making moves on him. Meanwhile, Lex Luthor seizes the opportunity to stir up trouble, painting Superman and Mala as Earth's newest power couple bent on world domination. As tensions reach a boiling point, Superman grapples with the fallout of his decision to trust Mala. In a climactic showdown, Superman faces off against Mala and her newfound ally, Jax Ur. As the dust settles, Superman must come to terms with the consequences of his actions and the challenges that lie ahead. Desperate to counter Jax Ur and Mala's threat, Superman and Professor Hamilton venture into the Fortress of Solitude. Hamilton is like a kid in a candy store, fascinated by the exotic creatures lurking in Superman's hideaway, but there's no time to play tourist. They've got a world to save. Meanwhile, Jax Ur and Mala take a stroll through Metropolis, sizing up the city for potential conquest. Jax Ur's got a major superiority complex, and Mala's just itching for some action. Back at the Daily Planet, Lewis fills Clark in on Mala's latest rampage. Clark wastes no time slipping into a Superman suit and zooming off to face the villains head on. In the heart of the city, Superman confronts Jaxer and Mala, but things quickly go south. Mala's got some serious skills, and Superman finds himself outmatched. After a brutal skirmish, Superman manages to gain the upper hand, but not before Mala pulls a dirty trick, putting Lewis in harm's way. Back at Star Labs, Superman learns that their plan to create a Phantom Zone projector has hit a snag. It's missing a crucial component. Meanwhile, Perry White's on the warpath, demanding answers from his staff. But before they can even catch their breath, Jaxer and Mala swoop in and snatch Lewis. Superman answers the distress call, armed with his trusty anti-kryptonite suit and the chunk of kryptonite. In a dramatic showdown, Superman manages to outwit Jaxer and Mala, sending them back to the Phantom Zone where they belong. With the threat neutralized, Superman decides it's best to keep Earth a Kryptonian free zone. In a classic saving the world scenario, General Hardcastle and his team are geared up to obliterate a colossal asteroid hurtling towards Earth. But wait, where's Superman? Just in the nick of time, the Man of Steel swoops in ready to save the day. As Superman investigates the asteroid, he discovers a massive creature bound to the rock. But wait, there's more. Hamilton notices a mysterious binary code emanating from the asteroid. Superman's quick thinking leads him to try and divert the asteroid's course, but when the sun hits the creature, it comes alive. With Hardcastle ready to detonate the asteroid, Superman races against time to save both Earth and the mysterious creature. But alas, Hardcastle's actions only worsen the situation, sending the creature hurtling towards Metropolis like a runaway freight train. The creature's rampage doesn't stop there. 
It captures a submarine and wreaks havoc on the ocean floor. Superman's heroic efforts to stop it seem futile against its immense strength and power. Back on land, Hamilton unravels the creature's origin from the Binary Code, a failed experiment created by an alien race gone rogue. As the creature rampages through Metropolis, Superman faces his toughest challenge yet. Hardcastle's force only worsened the situation, but Superman's unwavering determination prevails. With Hamilton's ingenious plan and Superman's bravery, they lure the creature into the city reservoir, where they unleash a freezing chemical that finally stops it in its tracks. In the end, Superman proves that even the most formidable foes can be vanquished with a combination of brains, brawn, and a little bit of luck. It's just another day in the life of the Man of Steel. In the heart of Metropolis, the race of the century is about to begin, as Superman and the Flash gear up to prove who truly holds the title of the fastest man alive. The Flash arrives in his typical flamboyant style, charming the crowd and even managing to flirt with Lewis Lane, much to Superman's chagrin. As the race commences, Superman and the Flash dash across the globe, each determined to outpace the other. But little do they know, an evil plan is unfolding in the background. Mark Martin, also known as the Weather Wizard, has sinister intentions to wreak havoc using a weather controlling device powered by the kinetic energy generated by the racing heroes. Meanwhile, at a remote cabin, Mark's brother Ben struggles with the moral implications of their scheme. Despite his reservations, Mark proceeds with his plan, unleashing a devastating storm off the coast of Australia, endangering an oil tanker and its crew. Superman and the Flash quickly spring into action using their powers to save lives and mitigate the damage caused by the storm. But their heroic efforts are just the beginning of the Weather Wizard's malevolent scheme. As the Weather Wizard demands a hefty ransom from the city, Superman and the Flash confront their new adversary. However, the Weather Wizard is prepared to unleash his full fury, trapping the heroes in a fierce blizzard of his own creation. But even as they face seemingly insurmountable odds, Superman and the Flash refuse to be defeated. With quick thinking and teamwork, they break free from their icy prison and confront the Weather Wizard head on. In a climactic showdown, Superman and the Flash combine their powers to defeat the Weather Wizard and dismantle his weather controlling device. With the threat neutralized, they reflect on the strength of their partnership and decide to continue their race, not as rivals, but as allies. As they race off into the distance, the citizens of Metropolis can rest easy knowing that their city is safe in the hands of these two legendary heroes, united in their mission to protect the world from any threat that may arise. As the morning light bathes Metropolis, Leslie Willis, the fiery shock jock of station WLXL, kicks off her show Livewire with a scathing diatribe against Superman. Meanwhile, Bibbo, the regular barfly, calls in to protest Leslie's tirade, but she brushes him off with her signature sass. In another part of the city, Lewis and Clark wait to interview Leslie, with Lewis fuming over the talk show host's relentless attacks on Superman. Clark, ever the calm one, sees through Leslie's antics, understanding that she's just craving attention like any other shock jock. During the live interview, Leslie turns her fiery rhetoric on Lewis, leaving the usually confident reporter speechless for the first time. But as Leslie spouts her grievances against Superman, he's busy swooping in to save a crane operator and innocent bystanders from a disastrous accident caused by the operator's neglect. Even as Leslie announces plans for a daring live show amidst the raging storm, Superman's heroic deeds continue to debunk her claims of his selfishness and absence. But when the storm threatens to turn deadly, Superman faces a new challenge. Leslie inciting chaos among the crowd, even turning against him. In a dramatic turn, lightning strikes Superman, redirecting its energy through him and inadvertently transforming Leslie into Livewire, a being with electrifying powers. As Livewire wreaks havoc across the city, Superman struggles to contain her destructive rampage. Livewire's demands for payment in exchange for restoring power to the city only escalate the chaos, forcing Superman into a desperate battle to stop her. Despite his best efforts, Livewire gains the upper hand, culminating in a showdown at a hydroelectric power plant. In a thrilling climax, Superman manages to short-circuit Livewire, saving the day and preventing a catastrophic dam collapse. 
When a live wire is subdued, Superman ensures she receives the care she needs, courtesy of funding from none other than Lex Luthor. In the aftermath, Metropolis reflects on Leslie's transformation into Livewire, with opinions divided between condemnation and nostalgia for her provocative show. With Livewire safely contained and Superman hailed as the city's savior once again, Metropolis begins to heal from the chaos wrought by the shocking turn of events. As a young boy clings to an electrical tower in fear, Superman swoops in to save the day once again. After a gentle scolding, Superman flies off to address a police chase involving Lewis's car. Intercepting the car, he prevents a mishap, but is alarmed when Clark is thrown from the vehicle. Superman catches him and advises Lewis to drive more cautiously, before inviting her to dinner to discuss safety measures. Meanwhile, Superman's heroics continue as he saves a helicopter from crashing. However, his attention is diverted when he encounters another Superman. The two confront each other, and one begins to exhibit alarming changes, prompting an attack. Before the altercation escalates, the first Superman succumbs to pain and confusion, allowing his doppelganger to flee. The imposter, later dubbed as Bizarro, finds himself in a laboratory controlled by Lex Luthor, who reveals the origins of his creation. Despite his confusion and Luthor's manipulations, Bizarro resolves to prove himself a hero. In his misguided attempts to emulate Superman, Bizarro inadvertently causes chaos in Metropolis. Superman intervenes, asserting his identity as the true hero. Their conflict escalates when Lewis becomes involved, leading to a dangerous showdown on the roof of the Daily Planet. Amidst the chaos, Lewis discovers the truth behind Bizarro's creation and persuades him to confront Luther. In the ensuing confrontation, the laboratory is destroyed and Superman battles Bizarro to protect Lewis. However, Bizarro ultimately sacrifices himself to save them from the lab's collapse, proving that he was capable of heroism despite his origins. As the dust settles, Superman and Lewis reflect on Bizarro's tragic fate, hoping that he survived the destruction and found peace. At the prestigious Excalibur Awards for writing, Lois Lane finds herself among the nominees for an investigative reporting award. However, her celebratory mood is shattered when she discovers a chilling message on her napkin. You win, you die. Undeterred, Lois proceeds with the ceremony and wins for her groundbreaking expose on LexCorp. As Lewis takes the stage to accept her award, a perilous situation unfolds as a laser cuts through the cable holding a massive glass sword above the podium. Clark Kent, sensing danger, transforms into Superman and swoops in just in time to save Lewis from the falling sword, averting a potential tragedy. In the aftermath of the near assassination, Lewis learns that Detective Bowman, who is leading the investigation, harbors a grudge against her due to an article she wrote that cost them a promotion. Expecting little cooperation from Bowman, Lewis is determined to unravel the mystery on her own. The danger escalates when Lewis and Clark encounter further attempts on her life, including a harrowing ordeal on an overpass where their car is sabotaged. Superman once again intervenes to save Lewis, but the threats persist, leaving her shaken and suspicious. Seeking answers, Lewis turns to her informant, Edward Leitner who discovers that the device used in the attacks originates from Lex Corp. Confronting Lex Luthor, Lewis demands explanation, but Luthor denies involvement and pledges to investigate the matter. As Lewis grapples with the escalating danger, she faces professional setbacks when she discovers that her assignments are being reassigned to other reporters. Frustrated and determined to uncover the truth, Lewis finds herself ensnared in yet another trap this time in a rigged elevator set to explode. Once again, Superman comes to her rescue, but the relentless attacks leave Lewis feeling vulnerable and isolated. Haunted by nightmares of her impending demise, Lewis confides in Clark, who advises her to lay low for her safety. However, Lewis refuses to back down and seeks assistance from Leitner, only to realize that he is the mastermind behind the attacks. Trapped in a cage of lasers by Leitner, Lewis relies on Superman to rescue her once more. Despite facing formidable opposition from Leitner's enhanced strength harness, Superman emerges victorious and frees Lewis from her captivity. Lewis expresses her desire to meet Superman under less dire circumstances, but he remains focused on ensuring her safety. With the threat neutralized, Lewis resumes her pursuit of truth and justice, undeterred by the dangers that lurk in the shadows. 
It's just another day in the bustling streets of Metropolis, when Superman spots an odd little man causing chaos in the middle of traffic, calling out for someone named McGurk. As the armored truck hurtles towards the man, Superman swoops into the rescue, only to find himself face to face with a man made entirely of bubbles. The quirky Bubble Man taunts Superman before popping out of existence, leaving the Man of Steel scratching his head in confusion. Later at the Daily Planet, Clark Kent finds Jimmy Olsen chuckling over a newspaper comic strip featuring the same bizarre character Superman encountered earlier. Attempting to pronounce the name, Clark is interrupted as the mischievous character leaps out of the comic strip to correct him, causing quite the commotion in the newsroom. With a bemused expression, Clark mutters to himself, note to self, stick to covering bank robberies and political scandals. They once again encounter the enigmatic Mr. Mixbudlik, who disrupts the event by bringing a famous statue to life. Clark, growing increasingly exasperated, attempts to confront the troublemaker, only to find himself facing off against the sentient statue instead. With a sheepish grin, Clark tries to explain away the chaos, muttering, I swear, Lewis, this is why we can't have nice things in Metropolis. But the antics of Mr. Mixie take a more personal turn when Superman's own parents, Jonathan and Martha Kent, are transformed into various creatures during a visit. Faced with the absurdity of the situation, Superman can only shake his head and mutter, Well, Mom always did say life was full of surprises, but turning into chickens? That's a new one. As Superman engages in a battle of wits with Mr. Mixie to thwart his plans, the impish trickster's persistence knows no bounds. Despite Superman's victory in banishing him back to the fifth dimension, Mr. Mixie vows to return someday. His patient wife suggests he find a more constructive hobby, prompting Mr. Mixie to shrug with a twinkle in his eye. Nah, maybe I'll take up knitting. Or cosmic pranks, we'll see. As Angela Chen kicks off her new segment, Profiling Superman's Adversaries, she delves into the case of Metallo, recounting his mysterious disappearance at sea. Meanwhile, on the remote island of Rocknavik, young siblings Bobby and Sarita Felix stumble upon a robot who emerges from the sea, saving Sarita from danger. With no memory of his past except for fragments of a clash with Superman, the robot earns the nickname Steel Man from the children. Back at the Daily Planet, Jimmy Olsen excitedly shares news of the robot's heroic deed, prompting both Clark Kent and Lewis Lane to investigate. While Clark gears up in his anti-kryptonite suit as Superman, Lewis heads to the island, suspecting the robot could be Metallo. As Metallo regains his memories and forms a bond with the children, the imminent eruption of a volcano threatens their safety. With Lewis captured by Metallo, Superman confronts the villain in a fiery showdown. Despite Metallo's kryptonite heart weakening him, Superman uses his cunning to defeat the villain, hurling the kryptonite into the lava and rescuing Lewis and the children. However, as the lava hardens around Metallo, his consciousness persists, signaling that the threat he poses may not be fully extinguished. As the lava solidifies, Metallo's mind remains active, hinting at future confrontations with the Man of Steel. Amidst the calm of Star Labs prison, Livewire seizes an opportunity when a janitor foolishly brings an electronic device near her cell, reigniting her powers. Escaping with ease, Livewire enlists Parasite as her partner in crime against Superman. Superman's encounter with Livewire proves challenging, as her electric powers pose a real threat. However, his resourcefulness and resilience keep him in the fight despite her repeated attacks. Livewire's alliance with Parasite adds another layer of danger, and his ability to drain powers amplifies their threat to Superman. As they unleash havoc upon Metropolis, Superman finds himself outmatched by the combined powers of Livewire and Parasite. Yet, with quick thinking and the help of a makeshift shield, Superman turns the tide, neutralizing Livewire's advantage. In a thrilling showdown at the power plant, Superman faces off against both villains using his ingenuity to outsmart them. With Livewire drained of power and Parasite shorted out, Superman emerges victorious, restoring peace to Metropolis once again. As Livewire and Parasite are taken into custody, Superman reflects on the victory, grateful for his freedom and determined to protect his city from future threats. In Stryker's prison, Edward Leitner executes a daring escape, using his invisibility device to commandeer a helicopter. 
As he vanishes into thin air, the guards are left bewildered, unable to track his invisible aircraft. Meanwhile, at the Daily Planet, Clark's mundane task takes a surprising turn when he feels his strength falter while attempting to retrieve a fallen pen. Sensing something amiss, he discovers that his powers are inexplicably diminishing, leaving him puzzled and vulnerable. Lewis, undeterred by Clark's warning about Lightner, heads to Stryker's prison for an interview. However, she soon finds herself in a life-threatening situation as Lightner's trap is sprung, endangering her on a cable trolley suspended precariously above the ground. Superman arrives just in time to rescue Lewis, but to his dismay, he struggles under the weight of the trolley, weakened by the mysterious power drain. The situation worsens as scientists reveal that Lightner has manipulated LexCorp satellites to envelop the Earth in a red sun-like force field, further sapping Superman's strength. In a daring confrontation with Lightner now adopting the moniker Luminous, Superman battles holographic projections capable of inflicting real harm. With Lewis and Jimmy captured, Superman must navigate through a labyrinth of illusion in danger to rescue them. As Superman confronts Luminous in his hideout, a fierce showdown ensues amidst the surreal landscape of holographic fantasies. Despite his weakened state, Superman prevails, destroying the satellite controls and restoring the yellow sunlight to Earth. With Luminous defeated and the force field lifted, Superman emerges victorious, his powers swiftly returning under the revitalizing rays of the sun. As he soars into the clear blue sky, Metropolis is once again safe thanks to the Man of Steel's unwavering resolve and indomitable spirit. As Lewis finds herself thrust into an alternate dimension, she navigates through a dystopian metropolis where Superman's once noble image has been tarnished, replaced by a ruthless authoritarian regime. Teaming up with Jimmy, she discovers the grim reality of a city ruled by fear and oppression. Their encounter with the desolate populace leads them to confrontations with Mercy and eventually Luther himself, whose grip on power proves perilous. However, with Lewis's resilience and determination, they manage to escape Luther's clutches, setting off a chain of events that culminates in a showdown between Superman and his former ally. In a gripping climax, Superman confronts Luther, whose nefarious schemes are brought to light. Despite Luther's desperate attempts to evade justice, Superman's unwavering resolve prevails, ultimately leading to Luther's demise and the liberation of Metropolis from his tyrannical grip. As the dust settles and hope begins to flicker anew, Lewis reflects on the resilience of her city and vows to ensure its future remains bright. With the alternate Superman's departure marking the end of their tumultuous journey, Lewis extends an invitation to her own Superman, signaling a renewed commitment to rebuilding their world together. As they share a moment of solidarity, the promise of a brighter tomorrow shines through, setting the stage for a new chapter in Metropolis's history, guided by the enduring spirit of its heroes. The tale of Titano's return is a whirlwind of unexpected events, from his miraculous survival in space to his rapid growth and subsequent havoc wreaked upon Metropolis. As Superman grapples with the repercussions of the meteor gas and the newfound threat of oversized bacteria, Lewis finds herself thrust into the chaos of caring for a giant chimp in her own home. Jimmy's misadventures with Titano add a touch of comedic relief amidst the chaos, from dodging refrigerators to slipping on banana peels. And as Titano embarks on his city-wide escapade, the stakes are raised as Superman struggles to contain the colossal primate without causing further destruction. The climactic showdown at the amusement park is a spectacle to behold, with Superman and Titano locked in a battle of epic proportions while Lewis and Jimmy race against time to find Beppo and calm the giant chimp. The triumphant moment when Beppo's song soothes Titano and brings an end to the chaos is a testament to the power of friendship and compassion. In the end, Titano finds a new home where he can live peacefully among his own kind, and Metropolis is spared from further turmoil. As Louis bids farewell to her oversized houseguest, she carries with her the memories of their shared adventures and the enduring bond forged between them. At the LexCorp unveiling, Luther's big moment turns into chaos when his latest weapon, the Sky Sentry, fails spectacularly. Clark Kent, secretly Superman, swoops in to save the day, leaving Luther fuming and Mercy scrambling to cover up the embarrassment. Later, Luther receives a mysterious call from Brainiac, who has hijacked LexCorp's systems. Brainiac wants Luther's help to build a new body, 
Luther is not thrilled about being a pawn, but Brainiac's not taking no for an answer. Meanwhile, Clark and Lewis suspect foul play. Clark uses his X-ray vision to find Luther missing. When they investigate, they encounter a frantic Mercy, who is determined to find her boss. Clark pretends to leave, but secretly monitors the situation. Brainiac, posing as Luther, refuses to see Clark, and Mercy is surprised by his absence. Clark decides to snoop around, but his plans are derailed when Brainiac launches a missile at his apartment. Superman saves the day, but not without a hiccup involving falling road sections and a train. Mercy discovers Luther's location, but is ambushed by robots. Superman arrives in the nick of time to rescue her, prompting her to reveal her royalty to Luther, even after he leaves her behind in the chaos. Meanwhile, Luther reluctantly assists Brainiac in building his new body. But when Brainiac reveals his plan to dispose of Luther afterward, Luther makes a daring escape, leaving Mercy in danger. Superman swoops in again to save her, while Luther smirks about his close call with the self-proclaimed Big Brain. Brainiac finally meets his magnetic demise, and Luther, ever the opportunist, plans to salvage what he can from the wreckage. As Mercy dutifully opens his car door, Luther's smugness is unmatched, proving that even in the face of disaster, he is always thinking one step ahead. On the ominous planet Apocalypse, Desaad activates a menacing machine aimed at Metropolis Park. Jogging journalist Lewis Lane stumbles upon the metallic monstrosity, prompting her to alert the newspaper. Meanwhile, Clark Kent hears the distress call and rushes to the scene just in time to save Lewis from the mechanical menace. Superman faces off against the formidable sphere, equipped with an array of lackluster weapons. Despite its efforts, the machine proves ineffective against the Man of Steel. Observing the debacle, Darkseid orders the Sot to initiate the self-destruct sequence, forcing Superman to act quickly to avert disaster. Following the machine's destruction, the Sot attempts to save face by claiming it was merely a test of Superman's powers. However, Darkseid sees through the ruse and refuses to grant the Sot another chance. Desperate for redemption, the Sot enlists the brute strength of Kalibok, Darkseid's son, to eliminate Superman and earn his father's approval. Kalibok descends upon Earth, targeting Superman with chaotic destruction. He ambushes a lunch outing attended by Superman's adoptive parents, putting them in peril. Superman rushes to their aid, but is ensnared in a fierce battle with Kalibok, endangering innocent bystanders. Despite Superman's efforts to save his father and contain Kalibok, the battle rages on, escalating to a dangerous confrontation in the subway. Kalibok, fueled by a desire for his father's recognition, pushes Superman to his limits. Just as Kalibok gains the upper hand, Superman's resolve strengthens upon hearing the word father. He unleashes his full power, thwarting Kalibok's assault and saving his adoptive father. However, Darkseid intervenes, revealing his sinister intentions to conquer Earth and destroy Superman. As Darkseid plots from afar, determined to eradicate Superman through any means necessary, the stage is set for an epic showdown between the Man of Steel and the tyrannical ruler of Apocalypse. On a stormy night in Gotham City, a mysterious woman, revealed to be Harley Quinn, aids the Joker in a daring heist at an antique shop. The duo escapes with a jade statue emitting deadly kryptonite radiation, catching Batman's attention. Meanwhile, in Metropolis, Superman thwarts terrorists hijacking Air Force One. Amidst the chaos, Lois Lane tries to express her feelings for Superman, but they are interrupted by a bank robbery. Lex Luthor, unimpressed by Superman's heroics, finds himself at the mercy of Harley Quinn, who offers to kill Superman for a hefty fee. As Bruce Wayne arrives in Metropolis, tensions rise between Superman and Batman when the Dark Knight warns of the Joker's plan. Bruce and Lewis grow closer during a date, much to Superman's dismay. Later, Batman confronts Superman in a nightclub, revealing his identity in the looming threat of the Joker. Superman, feeling the weight of jealousy and betrayal, discovers Batman's surveillance and realizes their secret identities are no longer secret. With the stage set for an epic showdown, the battle between heroes and villains escalates, pushing them to their limits in a city torn between chaos and order. Amidst strained tensions between Batman and Superman, Lewis and Bruce grow closer, much to Clark's dismay. Amidst already strained tensions between Batman and Superman, Lewis and Bruce enjoy a romantic dinner, and they're ambushed by the Joker who kidnaps Lewis. 
when Batman's warning, Superman rushes to save her but falls victim to the Joker's trap, leaving Lewis in grave danger. Batman intervenes, rescuing Superman and Lewis from the Joker's clutches. Together, they confront the villain, but he escapes with Harley Quinn. Meanwhile, Luther's deal with the Joker is exposed, prompting a confrontation between them and Batman. Clark, still reeling from Lewis's growing relationship with Bruce, tries to warn her of Luther's involvement. Batman confronts Luther, demanding answers, but faces resistance. Determined to stop the Joker's plans, Batman and Superman team up. As tensions escalate, Lewis decides to transfer to Gotham City, leaving Clark heartbroken. Meanwhile, Batman receives a cryptic invitation from the Joker, leading to a dangerous showdown. With lives on the line and secrets unraveling, the battle between heroes and villains intensifies, pushing them to their limits in a city gripped by chaos. Amidst the chaos, Superman saves the sinking cruise ship, while Batman evades the Wayne slash Lex T7. Desperate to find Superman, Batman seeks refuge at the Daily Planet, where Lewis is working late. With the robot closing in, Batman reveals his identity to Lewis as they try to escape. Superman arrives just in time to rescue them. Meanwhile, Luther realizes his connection to the failed scheme and plans one last meeting with the Joker. Back at her apartment, Lewis tends to Bruce's wounds but struggles with his deception. Superman proposes a partnership to take down their enemies and Batman agrees. At the meeting, Joker turns the tables, capturing Luther and Mercy and hijacking Luther's airship. Batman and Superman arrive but are met with fierce resistance from giant robots. With Mercy's warning, they realize Joker's plan to destroy Metropolis. While Superman faces a powerful robot armed with kryptonite, Batman pursues the Joker. In a destructive showdown, Batman confronts the Joker aboard the airship while Superman battles the robot. With Mercy's help, Superman destroys the robot and rushes to aid Batman. As they struggle to stop the airship, the Joker's antics lead to his demise in a fiery explosion. With the crisis averted, Luther faces investigation and Bruce cuts ties with Lex Corp. Harley is returned to Arkham and Bruce bids farewell to Metropolis, leaving Lewis in Superman's care. Despite their bond, Lewis struggles to accept Bruce's secret life, leading to a bittersweet goodbye between the heroes. The lone thief unwittingly unleashes the demon Karkul by reading a magical inscription on a stone tablet found in the university storage room. As Karkul wreaks havoc on the city, Superman intervenes but finds himself vulnerable to the demon's magic. Despite his efforts, Superman is unable to penetrate Karkul's protective shield. Seeking aid, Superman turns to Dr. Fate, a retired sorcerer and his wife Inza. Inza provides Superman with a magical talisman that allows him to breach Karkul's shield. Inside the Daily Planet, now transformed into a demonic lair, Karkul opens a portal to summon more demons and possess humans, including Lewis and Jimmy. Superman, aided by fate, confronts Karkul and battles the demonic creatures. However, Karkul taunts Superman, exploiting his reluctance to harm his possessed friends. Fate enters the fray, but Karkul shatters the artifact needed to imprison him. As fate battles Karkul, Superman retrieves the artifact and dives into the pit to confront the demonic entity lurking within. Returning to the surface, Superman uses the artifact to imprison Karkul once more, restoring peace to the city. Superman learns that his determination to fight against insurmountable odds inspired fate to rejoin the battle against evil. As fate prepares to resume his duties, Superman returns his helmet acknowledging their shared commitment to never give up the fight against darkness. Lewis encounters a guard blocking the road to Lex Luthor's cloning lab, but Superman intervenes before tensions escalate. They find no trace of the lab or Bizarro, assuming he's dead. However, Bizarro survives and wanders aimlessly until he stumbles upon the North Pole, believing it to be his home after consulting Brainiac's orb. Bizarro reconfigures the Metropolis Cultural Center to resemble Krypton and kidnaps an usher, mistaking him for Jor-El. Lewis investigates and accompanies Bizarro into his home to prevent further chaos. Superman arrives and realizes Bizarro's innocent intentions, but the building collapses, leading Superman to bring a chunk of kryptonite as a deterrent. Unaffected by the kryptonite, Bizarro plays with Superman and his pet, Crypto, while inadvertently endangering Lewis. He leaves to create Krypton by detonating the building, prompting Superman to intervene. 
Bizarro steals a missile, aiming to make Metropolis resemble Krypton, but Superman convinces him to prioritize saving Lewis. Realizing Bizarro's threat, Superman guides him to a deserted planet where he can live peacefully with Krypto. Bizarro happily accepts his new home, grateful for the companionship of his newfound friend. Lex Luthor introduces the LexCorp police battlesuit, boasting impressive capabilities similar to Superman's. During a fire arrest, Sergeant Corey Mills, wearing the suit, demonstrates its effectiveness, impressing the crowd. However, John Henry Irons warns Luthor about potential psychological risks, but Luthor dismisses his concerns. As Mills continues to use the suit, his behavior becomes increasingly violent, worrying his wife and attracting Superman's attention. Mills becomes obsessed with the suit, neglecting his personal life and displaying erratic behavior. Superman intervenes when Mills attacks criminals excessively, leading police captain Maggie Sawyer to put him on leave and ban the suit's use. Driven mad by the loss of the suit, Mills steals it and confronts Luthor seeking his help. Superman learns from Irons about a jamming device that can shut down the suit. Luthor tricks Mills into activating the device, but it gets crushed, leading to a confrontation between Superman and Mills. Despite being temporarily blinded by Mills' lasers, Superman defeats him by using an electric generator to disable the suit. Mills is hospitalized in a catatonic state, but Irons assures that he will recover. Reflecting on the suit's potential, Irons begins considering ways to improve it with Superman's assistance. The memorial for Clark Kent is attended by his colleagues from the Daily Planet, with Superman watching from a distance, reflecting on how it all began. Days earlier, Clark investigates the case of Ernest Walker, a convicted murderer scheduled for execution. Using his super senses, Clark believes in Walker's innocence and discovers evidence supporting his alibi. However, a bomb planted in Clark's car destroys crucial evidence, making him appear dead. Lewis tries to convince Detective Bowman that Walker is innocent, but he remains skeptical. She uncovers clues implicating Bowman and Clark's death, leading to a confrontation where Bowman tries to kill her. Superman intervenes and apprehends Bowman, revealing him as the true killer. Superman rushes to stop Walker's execution, saving him at the last moment. Lewis publishes the story of Walker's exoneration, but is devastated by Clark's apparent death. However, she receives a shocking phone call, revealing that Clark is in fact alive and well, having washed ashore and contacted Lana Lang. Bowman, now imprisoned, realizes Clark's secret identity as Superman just before his own execution, taking the secret to his grave. John Henry Irons, also known as Steel, continues his work on his powered armor suit, testing its capabilities. Meanwhile, a super strong villain with ties to inner gang is robbing banks in the area. During a bank robbery, the super strong villain easily overpowers the police. Irons, testing his armor nearby, decides to intervene. However, a flaw in the armor causes a malfunction, leaving Irons vulnerable to the thieves. Superman arrives to save Irons and confronts the thieves, one of whom is revealed to be Metalo. Superman battles Metalo, who now possesses kryptonite radiation capabilities. Irons attempts to assist, but is unable to stop Metalo. Natasha, Irons' niece, intervenes by ramming Metalo with a van, allowing Irons to rescue Superman and escape. Back at Irons' lab, Irons uses a light generator to restore Superman's strength with yellow sunlight. Meanwhile, Metalo threatens the neighborhood to reveal Superman's location. Irons dons his full armor as steel and confronts Metalo and his men, defeating them in combat. In a fierce battle, Metalo gains the upper hand against Steel and Superman. However, Steel manages to destroy the kryptonite in Metalo's chest with his hammer, saving Superman and defeating the villain. Superman expresses his gratitude to Steel for his assistance in the fight. On the distant planet of Almirak, Queen Maxima engages in combat with a male warrior named Decene in an area. Despite initially losing the match, Maxima proves her superiority and spares the scene's life, deeming him unworthy of being her mate. Frustrated by the lack of suitable partners on her planet, Maxima becomes obsessed with finding a mate. Upon discovering Superman through a recording of his battle with John Corbin, Maxima sets her sights on him as a potential mate. Ignoring her responsibilities as queen, Maxima travels to Earth to confront Superman herself, causing chaos in Metropolis in her quest to find him. 
When Maxima finally encounters Superman, she insists that he prove himself worthy of being her mate. However, Superman rejects her advances, leading to a fierce battle between them. Despite Maxima's initial advantage, Superman ultimately prevails and subdues her. Returning to Almarak with Superman as her captive, Maxima finds that Desin and her attendant, Sazu, have conspired to overthrow her. With Superman's help, Maxima defeats her traitorous subjects and restores order to her kingdom. Despite her initial disappointment over Superman's refusal to stay with her, Maxima finds new hope in the arrival of Lobo, a powerful and unconventional warrior. With Lobo's arrival, Maxima sees the possibility of finding a worthy mate and continues her quest for companionship. As the chaos unfolds at the power plant, Superman rushes to the scene to prevent further disaster. He arrives just in time to see Mannheim attempting to flee on a motorboat before the explosion engulfs him. Despite Superman's efforts to contain the explosion and minimize the damage, the destruction caused by Darkseid's plan is significant. Meanwhile, Orion returns to New Genesis to report on the situation to his people. He expresses his concern about Darkseid's relentless pursuit of power and his willingness to cause destruction on Earth. Orion knows that Darkseid will not stop until he achieves his goals, and he is determined to do whatever it takes to protect Earth from his father's tyranny. Back in Metropolis, Superman reflects on the looming threat posed by Darkseid and his forces. Despite his incredible powers, Superman knows that he cannot face Darkseid alone. He considers reaching out to the other allies for help in preparing for the inevitable confrontation with the ruler of Apocalypse. As the city recovers from the devastation caused by Darkseid's attack, Superman remains vigilant knowing that Darkseid's plans for Earth are far from over. With the support of allies like Orion and the promise of reinforcements from New Genesis, Superman stands ready to defend his adopted home against whatever threats may come its way. The funeral for Turpin is a somber affair, attended by all of Metropolis as they pay their respects to the fallen hero. As the rabbi sings, Superman stands over Turpin's tombstone, feeling the weight of the loss keenly. He reflects on Turpin's bravery and dedication to protecting the city, dubbing him Earth's greatest hero in a heartfelt tribute. The loss of Turpin weighs heavily on Superman and the people of Metropolis, reminding them of the sacrifices made in the ongoing battle against evil. Despite their grief, they find solace in coming together to honor Turpin's memory and reaffirm their commitment to defending their city against any threat that may arise. Superman, still grappling with his emotions, vows to continue the fight against injustice in Turpin's memory. With the support of his allies and the resilience of the people of Metropolis, he knows that they always will persevere in the face of adversity, honoring Turpin's legacy by standing up for truth, justice, and the greater good. Furies are powerful female warriors from Apocalypse. Supergirl finds herself outnumbered and outmatched as the Furies launch a relentless assault. Meanwhile, back at the Daily Planet, Clark becomes worried when he realizes Kara is missing. He changes into Superman and begins searching for her. In the hideout, Supergirl fights valiantly against the Furies, but finds herself overwhelmed by their strength and ferocity. Just as things seem dire, Superman bursts onto the scene and joins the fray. Together, the two Kryptonians manage to turn the tide of battle, working in perfect harmony to defeat the Furies and Granny Goodness. With the threat neutralized, Superman and Supergirl share a moment of relief and camaraderie. Superman commends Supergirl for her bravery and determination, but reminds her of the importance of caution and restraint. Supergirl nods, understanding the lesson. As they leave the hideout, Supergirl expresses her gratitude to Superman for coming to her aid. Superman assures her that they make a great team and promises to continue training her to hone her skills. Back at the Daily Planet, Kara bids farewell to Jimmy, thanking him for his help and promising to keep in touch. She then heads off with Superman, ready to embark on her journey as Supergirl and make a difference in the world. Together, Superman and Supergirl soar through the skies of Metropolis, united in their mission to protect the innocent and uphold justice, as the city below rests a little easier knowing that its defenders are watching over them. The citizens of Metropolis look up at the sky, relieved to see the comet safely diverted and grateful for the heroic efforts of Superman and Supergirl. The city begins to rebuild, united in the knowledge that they have defenders watching over them. Back at the Daily Planet, the newsroom buzzes with excitement as Jimmy's front-page story on Supergirl's debut gains widespread attention. 
As Kara flies through the skies of Metropolis, she feels a sense of pride and purpose, knowing that she has made a difference and earned her place as Earth's newest protector. With Superman by her side and the support of her newfound allies, she is ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead. Meanwhile, Superman reflects on the events that transpired, grateful for Supergirl's bravery and determination in the face of adversity. Together, they have proven that hope and heroism can triumph over even the darkest of threats. As the sun sets on another day in Metropolis, its citizens rest a little easier knowing that they have two Kryptonian heroes watching over them, ready to defend their city and protect their world from any danger that may arise. At the bustling harbor, Clark and Jimmy find themselves covering an event when Volcana, with her fiery flare, interrupts their day. Jimmy's attempt to capture her beauty on film is thwarted as his camera mysteriously malfunctions. Soon, chaos ensues as Volcana reveals her true identity and sets the ship ablaze. Clark swiftly transforms into Superman, rescuing trapped individuals and creating escape routes amidst the billowing smoke. In the aftermath, Clark's investigative instincts kick in as he delves deeper into Volcana's origin. His pursuit leads him to an institution for paranormal children, where he uncovers a tragic tale of government exploitation. Moved by Volcana's plight, Superman seeks to offer her redemption, but she remains defiant. Meanwhile, Volcana's encounter with government agents leads to her imprisonment on a secluded tropical island, a far cry from her former life of chaos. Superman, ever the beacon of compassion, continues to extend a helping hand, ensuring her safety even in captivity. As Superman makes his routine supply run to Volcana's island sanctuary, her gratitude shines through in a playful gesture, reminding him that even those branded as villains are deserving of kindness and understanding. After all, everyone deserves a second chance, even amidst the blaze of chaos. The citizens of Gotham City breathe a collective sigh of relief as Superman and Robin stand victorious over the defeated villains, ensuring the safety of their beloved city once again. With Brainiac thwarted and Bruce Wayne rescued from his clutches, peace is restored to Gotham, at least for the time being. As Superman flies off into the night sky, his duty fulfilled, Bruce Wayne reflects on the events that transpired, grateful for the timely intervention of the Man of Steel and the unwavering support of his trusted ally, Robin. With the threat of Brainiac vanquished, Bruce knows that Gotham can begin to heal and rebuild. In the days that follow, the citizens of Gotham honor their heroes, expressing their gratitude for their bravery and selflessness in the face of danger. Superman's presence serves as a reminder of the hope and resilience that exist in the hearts of all those who call Gotham home. Meanwhile, in the Batcave, Bruce and Robin continue their tireless efforts to protect Gotham from the shadows, ever vigilant against the threats that lurk in the darkness. With their bonds stronger than ever, they stand ready to face whatever challenges may come their way united in their commitment to justice and the safety of their city. As dawn breaks over Gotham City, a new day dawns, filled with promise and possibility. And though the night may bring its share of trials and tribulations, the citizens of Gotham can rest easy knowing that their heroes will always be there to watch over them, ensuring that hope will never fade from the streets of Gotham. In 2979 AD, Brainiac disrupts Metropolis before fleeing into a portal. The Legion of Superheroes pursue him, landing near Smallville. They rescue Clark from Brainiac's clutches and thwart his plans, erasing memories of the attack. With Smallville restored, Clark embraces his destiny, symbolized by his new glasses, as Lana finds him marking a new chapter in his journey. At Lana Lang's fashion show, chaos interrupts as life-sized toys attack, targeting model Darcy Mason. Superman springs into action, rescuing Darcy from Toyman's clutches. Meanwhile, Clark investigates Darcy's mysterious past, uncovering her robotic identity. As Lana confronts Darcy's true nature, a fiery showdown ensues, leaving Lana trapped in a blaze. Superman saves her, learning of Darcy's origins and her ties to Toyman. Darcy, facing Toyman's betrayal, seeks revenge but is thwarted by Superman's intervention. In a final showdown, Toyman and Darcy vanish after a helicopter crash, leaving their fate uncertain. Amidst the aftermath, a mysterious woman departs, carrying a heavy burden, hinting at new mysteries to unfold. In Bizarro's world, tranquility is disrupted when a misguided act of heroism leads to chaos. Feeling unappreciated, Bizarro is manipulated by Mr. Mixie into believing Superman mocks him. 
enraged Bizarro ventures to Earth to confront his nemesis. In Metropolis, Bizarro's search for Superman escalates into a destructive confrontation. Despite Superman's attempts to reason with him, Bizarro's fury intensifies, endangering both heroes and civilians alike. As chaos ensues, Mr. Mixie faces consequences for his deceit, sentenced to a powerless exile on Earth. Meanwhile, Superman intervenes to save Bizarro from destruction, leading to a moment of clarity for the misunderstood anti-hero. Recognizing the truth, Bizarro surrenders to Superman's mercy, while Mr. Mixie faces Crypto's wrath. Superman, satisfied with justice served, watches from afar as peace is restored to Bizarro's world. Superman's journey to study a black hole turns into a rescue mission when he encounters a ship heading for disaster. After saving the crew, he learns of Jaxer and Mala's reign of terror in their homeworld. Confronted by Jaxer and Mala's tyranny, Superman faces a moral dilemma, intervene and risk catastrophic conflict or prioritize the safety of innocent lives. Despite pleas for help, Superman hesitates, fearing the consequences of a Kryptonian showdown. As Superman uncovers Jaxer's and Mala's nefarious plans for Earth, he realizes his mistake in turning a blind eye to injustice. In a daring showdown near the black hole, Superman confronts the tyrants, ensuring their demise and vowing to never forsake those in need again. Kyle Rayner stands in awe of the power he now wields as the Green Lantern of Sector 2814. Despite his initial doubts and insecurities, Superman reassures Kyle of his worthiness for the role, affirming his belief in Kyle's ability to uphold the legacy of the Green Lantern Corps. With Sinestro defeated and the threat to Earth averted, Kyle begins to embrace his new responsibilities, determined to use his newfound power for the greater good. As he trains and hones his skills under the guidance of the Guardians of the Universe, Kyle's confidence grows and he becomes a symbol of hope and protection for the people of Earth. Meanwhile, Superman continues to watch over Metropolis, ever vigilant against the myriad threats that seek to harm the city and its inhabitants. Inspired by Kyle's courage and determination, Superman finds renewed purpose in his own mission to safeguard humanity knowing that he now has an ally in the Green Lantern. Together, Superman and Green Lantern stand as beacons of light in a world filled with darkness, their unwavering resolve and steadfast determination serving as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, hope will always prevail. And as they face the challenges that lie ahead, they do so with the knowledge that they are stronger together, united in their commitment to protect the innocent and uphold justice across the cosmos. Tina's excessive jewelry catches Jimmy's eyes at the Daily Planet. While Jimmy is infatuated, Superman saves a helicopter crash, earning Angela's admiration. Angela spins a story portraying Jimmy as Superman's pal, leading to unwanted attention. Jimmy's labeled Superman's pal and swamped with favors and admirers. Tina reveals her true allegiance to Metalo and traps Jimmy. Superman intervenes, battling Metalo, who proves resilient. Jimmy's quick thinking helps defeat Metalo, earning Superman's praise and the special watch for emergencies. Lewis, Jimmy, and Bibbo enjoy a boat ride until they are attacked by sea creatures. Superman saves them, but the whales remain hostile. Investigating, Lewis learns Lex Luthor is involved in capturing Aquaman. Aquaman reveals his mission to stop underwater weapon testing. With Lewis, he escapes, leading Lex's men on a chase. They dive into the ocean, where Aquaman's shark ally helps save Lewis. Superman arrives, defeats Lex's men, and aids Aquaman. Later, Superman convinces Aquaman to seek, to seek peaceful solutions. Despite a near conflict, Aquaman relents, warning of dire consequences if provoked further. As the sun sets over Smallville, Kara reflects on the events of the day, grateful for the peacefulness of her hometown and the normalcy of her life with the Kents. She sits on the porch, watching the stars twinkle in the sky, feeling a sense of gratitude for her family and the simple joys of home. Inside the house, Jonathan and Martha sit together, relieved and thankful that their ordeal is over and that Kara is safe now. In Metropolis, Superman watches over the city, keeping an eye out for any signs of trouble. He feels a sense of pride in Supergirl's bravery and determination, knowing that she has proven herself to be a true hero. At night, when everything is quiet and everyone is asleep, Kara and her family feel safe and happy in Smallville. They cherish their love for each other and look forward to the next day with hope.
So this was Superman the Animated Series from beginning to the end. If you enjoyed the video, drop us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this on your feed. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.